Hey guys, Sam here. Uh, just kind of wanted to give an update on the 64 Impala. Uh, been trying to get it painted. Uh, we're basically over the summer, uh, almost over the summer. We're in September. And during the June, July, it's kind of August, kind of hot, hot to paint. So I was going to try to paint it here in the fall, finish anyways. Anyways, uh, I started doing the, the roof. I figured it'd be easier for me to paint the roof and clear it um, because the size of it up there and the amount of work it would be to paint the whole car at, at one time, the roof, the hood, the trunks and doors, you know, everything when it's all together. Um, and I just figured it might be easier to do the roof first since there's really not going to be a hard tape line or anything because all this is, you know, you can break it off here. You got a trim here that goes here. Anyways, uh, I like the color and I like the way it turned out. The clear turned out pretty good, but I got quite a bit of trash in it. And I was going to try to cut and buff, but I don't know when I'll do that. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it does have quite a few nibs and dust and particles. So, I've never cut and buff a car. I've never painted a whole car or nothing like that. So, it's going to be an experience trying to do that. Uh, I don't think the camera's picking up most of the dust or dirt part. There you go, right there. It's picking up that now. There is some orange peel, not much. Um, so it came out really smooth along here. Uh, there is some orange peel up there. And also on the base, the light's probably not going to pick it up. I think it picks it up on the other side more when I get on the ladder. There's like some tiger stripes. Uh, right in that area somewhere and I'm thinking that was it's just so, so hard to reach off of the ladder I'm using and to extend over there halfway and then spray from one end all the way to that end so what I would do is I'd start here and spray to about that line and then finish here and then come back and spray the rest of that but it seemed to work out like that and but I, after I'd done the base I seen those stripes there so the next day I came back and sanded it with 600 and did one more layer of base and it took some of them out but there's still some there um, I'm just gonna leave it like that I mean it's not noticeable unless you really get up here and the light hits it just right now if it was on the quarters of the fenders of the doors, I would probably respray it. So what I've done, also I wanted to spray the car with the doors and fenders on it. So that's what I've kind of just put them on there. The fenders are, I think I got like one or two bolts holding on to it. But anyways, I didn't want to spray these separate. Um, I'm not worried about the matching part. It's just I don't have enough room in here. To spray the shell and then cover the shell and then spray different parts in here I mean if I had some stuff see I'm already running into stuff back here if I had some stuff out of here in a storage room or something then I could paint these separate and then install them so my plan was to go ahead and put the doors on and paint the whole car and mask the the roof of course but anyways while I had the doors off what I was leading to is I went ahead and cut these in the jams um, that paper off uh, cut the jams in so I could put the doors in I also cut the fenders in so the fenders are done in here and then I'll just paint this outside part of course, there'll probably be a tape line in here somewhere, uh, but I mean, it's not going to be that noticeable. And I did the trunk, cut the trunk in. Trunk area. 
and that's been paint, uh, base coat and clear and of course the trunk so getting that done <clears throat> and making a little progress uh, one thing I didn't mention I did get a run I don't know if the camera will pick it up right here. Let's see. That's uh, picking it right there, yep. Got that run there. And that was mainly because when I had this masked off, I had a piece of paper here that I had put for some reason I can't remember. Um, this was masked with plastic, but I had a piece of that brown paper put here and I didn't tape it down here. So when I was coming to spray, the paper flew up and I had already done a coat of clear and it landed on here and it got stuck. So I ripped it off and I had a little mark there. So I said, okay, well, I'll just, while I'm here, I'll, I'll try to bury it. And I sprayed extra coat of clear. And so when I went back around the other side, finished, I came here and I already had that run. So if I would have just waited and let it, dry a little bit and then come back I probably could have buried that um, and it did seem to bury what where the paper landed here but with that extra clear I'd put on there it just created that run uh, that's the only run I had the other side came out perfect I mean there's no no issues with the other side or the top or anywhere else as far as runs this side came out smooth and most of all the trash is up here on the top uh, I think you can see it now of course it's already been a, I think two days already and it's already getting dirt and I was going to see if it could show you those tiger stripes Oop. yeah there's one about right in here right in this area you seem to see it more on this side than you do the other side I think right in there and back over there but I'm not gonna I mean I'm people are not gonna be crawling on top of the car to look at it so I'm just gonna go with it and who knows I may fix it if I decide to buff and cut. Maybe I'll cut the clear and do another base. But no, I think I'm just going to stop at that point and, and just uh, buff it out. Cut and buff that top, the, all, all the trash out of it. Alright guys, I just kind of wanted to give you an update on it. Like I said, it's been slow progress. I'm not really working fast on it. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, apologize for not posting a video on it, but like I said, hadn't been getting much progress or work done on it. Um, so see you guys later, and see you on the next one.